Good day! Welcome to my channel. I am Vladimir and today I'm going to show you this combinator tutorial for Factorio. People out there think that outposts are boring. A part of this problem is that you can just plop in a line of laser and problem solved, GG! I think it is up to the player to make the most out of it. My approach contains every turret type, dragon teeth and even mines. If you spice up your biter experience with a mod like Rampant, laser only will get you wrecked faster and harder than you can crash your car. It also contains a very interesting feature, the alarm system, which is the main theme of this video. How it works is once an attack happens, ammo gets consumed and the red inserters will send a pulsed signal to the combinators which will then extend the signal by how much ammo has been consumed. Then the red light will start flashing and uh, the alarm sound will play. And by the way, you can use any type of ammo to trigger the system. You could also detect energy or fluid consumption, but it is very tedious and it makes little sense to use in this case. So I prepared here a little example for you how to use the signal from the inserters. The red inserter is set on read only and uh, pulsed. Once it grabs an item from the chest, it will send a one tick pulse to the arithmetic combinator here. The signal then gets extended by 200 per ammo clip, which is a little bit more than like three in game seconds. I should uh, change the language, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, when using the each signal, so the star-shaped thing with yellow background thingy, uh, you can use any item as a detector. Very interesting if you are using mods, by the way. The other combinators are used to reset the timer to zero and turn off the signal again. So let's check out what happens when we put one ammo clip inside the chest. As you can see, the light turn it on, it, it will stay on for 200 ticks. Now let's put more than one clip inside the chest. The stack size of the inserter is 3, so the lamp will now be turned on for 600 ticks. I will also include a blueprint for you guys because it is much easier to understand when you actually see it. There is also a second clock but a continuous one for the red light. Once a trigger signal has been sent, the green light turns off and the red light starts flashing. On this combinator you can see, if the trigger signal is zero, then the green lights turn on. The lights are set so that every second light turns on once the signal is equal 15 or bigger and the other light turns on when it's equal 15 or lower. The flashing works because this combinator is set to count from 0 to 30. Okay, it's about time we test this in action.
So that was it with my first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.